from the WHBL Newsroom, here's John Demaster. It'll be mostly sunny, less windy today and a high near 46, mid-50s tomorrow. Trick-or-treating turned into an ordeal for an Oostburg child on Thursday when they were hit by a car. The nine-year-old was trick-or-treating at around 5 p.m. when they were struck at 8th and Center Avenue by a car driven by a man from Grafton. Sheboygan County Sheriff's investigators say the child had apparently failed to look both ways before darting across the street, and the sheriff says the man was not ticketed as the collision couldn't be avoided. After being examined at the scene by EMS responders, the child was taken by the parents to be checked out at the hospital, but is expected to be okay. Kevin Zimmerman, WHBL News. Dueling presidential campaign events are expected to take place in Milwaukee today. Republican candidate and former President Donald Trump is set to hold a rally at Pfizer Forum. Meantime, just minutes away, Vice President Kamala Harris will be in West Dallas for a concert and a rally. The deadline has passed to request an absentee ballot by mail or online. In-person absentee voting in Wisconsin started last Tuesday, October 22nd, and this Sunday, November 3rd, is the last day municipal clerks can offer that option in the clerk's office or satellite locations. Voters mailing their absentee ballots or using a drop box need to be aware that they must arrive by 8 p.m. on Election Day to be counted. Bob Haig, Wisconsin Radio Network. Open enrollment for health care under Obamacare starts today in Wisconsin. Last year, more than 254,000 people signed up for health insurance on healthcare.gov in Wisconsin, setting a new state record. Wisconsinites have until January 15th to enroll. Here's your forecast with Pete's. After a wet and windy Halloween, we'll see sunshine. For today, mostly sunny, less windy than yesterday, high 46. Tonight, mostly clear, low 33. Tomorrow, sunny, high 55. On Sunday, cloudy and breezy with periods of rain, high 58.